Adofo ya mama akwa ba e de mobile vice Africa TV so. News ya de bre we ya tuni dinse street news. Na sa ope se ya mama more videos dear. Na sa ube hu dia. Bo modia na subscribe e ma ye. E wo ye in YouTube no so. A na sa uko Facebook wa ye da ho vice Africa TV. Enra ya mama penye di betu uja. E kasa fa ya rie coronavirus hon. Ansani ya bako kwa tiye nse ma. O mama penye ni eka ya no. A branti ya o chesi ni awa o mai gane mu. A ya freno Samuel Ofori. E di ababe tu jase. O biye ni honu ma o ya star. E wa gane ha. Anase Nollywood. Anase Hollywood. E bi ni honu. Ne mo msa u pese wu nyan star ba kupe di ya. E nwani Yesu Christo. Kili mi he. Se star biye ni asa si su. Ye ka star, celebrity, superstar. Ma shishu mwa he from Hollywood. To Ghana would also to Kuma would also have a star piano as a siso. I didn't make us a star in your back of pair. On one Jesus Christ. On your star on one Jesus Christ. On one corner say a war nine strong accord if ye. Only on one corner a war nine strong accord if ye. Sound on quarts and a dunny in sure into my my brother. Oh, Pesta, be a full owner, full of Jesus Christ. Who's your room model? Oh, she show up so do be your room model. Eh, yet you all fire as a room model. I must have a whole bit of you. Oh, I'm a sort of bum, be a room, who feed me by the term when you bring to me by the room. Bra, I be out person be a crowd be a because it's ran up and you're never more who TV soon in your mind. You're been more action. Massa, empty my own trans, over sorry. Nwa kwa kwa yeni mebi nu kwa sa woye Ba sa wu follow Jesus Christ Suma Jesus Christ yo role model Wa yo superstar no sa wu celebrity na Masa Oba mwa kuma na da jo Oba mwa biyo sa be kabia Oba mwa wa kuma tum Na wabe jia tum Then you'll be content with the little you have Ba ye de wu follow ya Masa ano pe yuye mi me picture Sa ke siye ni do wu Facebook u ni Instagram Ne wwa wun 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 shishu Nwa kuma yipo Pu 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 ka wun kum Na ka wusu te look of them Wusu ti play mu Wusu ti ring you by hair Emu ni ni na ye nonsense Me catch on ye Star no ye ba kope So wun ya star Ube follow na follow Jesus Christ Star bien ni hobi ma chuchem do oh we ma nya star bi a mitimi na toto no ono kwa na ni bi su si di ni na ono ni ebo ni bi a kuto bi ni na akuto na ono ketre ma ni na pe mu akasa yampa aje nkwa ni ge hobi ono kwa no wo suru no ye ya kai malaria boy a peni di mi kaka hospital uzi ufulu ye wa look malaria boy ye di mi kaka yako hospital we ni a bi ufulu ye nkwa si ya di a ye ye go Instagram ni Facebook kunja we ni a bi twenty four seven wo like wo comment ma sa. Comment with Jesus guys, oh, comment and like Jesus guys. But I come from family, ne 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 Bible, ne read the rules, and ne fish, and ne maybe a real man or panel who are ninja. Oh sorry, I won't read the Bible on prayer crown movie. Oh sorry, I give you call like movie picture. Oh go comment it. Hey, who pay room model? Um, who room model? You Jesus guys. Who pay superstar celebrity be a follow na? Ma who celebrity ne ne Jesus guy? Yeah, you follow yeah. And ne ma obu hunu enye. And near my bet in some more boon M. Wow. Sister, and you brave baby Rome who do will be a when you saw because one says that we chop picture, we say we are you say we are you say. Bra, any other man can we make any other man demand a star no and no any Jesus Christ who be a can who be any other can ya a fake stars, fake celebrities, fake superstars. I'm paying you the nano December between Jack and Casafaya real coronavirus on Adorana Freno. COVID-19. Na nense mwa wakanye ebi nese. E ye ye anjina mkanya ye yusu e wa mai gane muhano. Sabi wabewe ama mkanya ni njina eji nejina so kama afenzo su water bill. Wade boso me miyansan diye aka huwa obia entu ya saa boso me miyansan no aketu ya efa e ye water bill. E hon. I now see imposition of strict restrictions to movement and ask the residents of the greater Accra metropolitan area and Kasoa and the greater Kumasi metropolitan area and its contiguous districts to stay at home for two weeks in order to give us the opportunity to stave off this pandemic. As a result, residents of these two areas had to make significant adjustments to our way of life with the ultimate goal being to protect permanently our continued existence on this land. They heeded the call, and they have proven so far to each other and indeed to the entire world that being a Ghanaian means we look out for each other.
Yes, there are a few who continue to find ways to be recalcitrant, but the greater majority have complied and have done so with calm and dignity. Tonight, I say thank you to each and every one of you law-abiding citizens. Let me thank in particular all our frontline actors who continue to put their lives on the line to help ensure that we defeat the virus. To our health workers, I say a big aiko for the continued sacrifices you are making in caring for those infected with the virus and in caring for the sick in general. You are the heroes and heroines of our generation, and government will do all in its power to provide you with the relevant tools to do your work effectively. To the men and women of our security services who have been enforcing the directives by patrolling our streets day and night, conducting surveillance, snap checks, and mounting roadblocks, we're deeply in your debt. It is these security measures that have created the basic framework within which our medical personnel are able to pursue contact tracing, testing, and treatment of persons with the virus whose implementation offers us the most secure means to defeat the virus. Reports I've received so far indicate that the police, military, and other members of our security services have discharged their mandate with considerable professionalism. Furthermore, working with the Ministry of Local Government and Rural Development, we see personnel of the Ghana Armed Forces involved in the cleanup of our drainage systems and of our markets. In the very few instances where members of our security agencies have employed the use of excessive force against the citizenry in enforcing the restrictions on movement, the Inspector General of Police and the Chief of Defense Staff of the Armed Forces have taken steps to investigate such incidents, and they have given me the assurance that those found culpable will be duly sanctioned. Thus far, the alleged wrongdoers have been withdrawn from the ongoing exercise. To enhance command and control, more senior officers have been deployed at the operational level and each member of our security services participating in the exercise has been handed an aid memoir highlighting essentially the guidelines for the operation. However, I'm extremely perturbed by the actions of a few unpatriotic persons who are deliberately passing off and circulating old videos of alleged brutality by members of the security agencies largely of foreign origin, and presenting them as though there were new incidents by Ghanaian security personnel which have occurred during the course of this past week. It is sad, it is unfortunate, and it must end. We should all be in this fight together, and there's nothing to be gained with widespread fabrication and distribution of such videos whose sole aim is to create discontent and undermine the trust of the population in the men and women of our security services. Who gains from such conduct? Nobody in their right senses. The law enforcement agencies are determined to locate the originators of these antisocial acts. Fellow Ghanaians, as I have said before, all that government is doing is intended to achieve five key objectives. Limit and stop the importation of the virus, contain its spread, provide adequate care for the sick, limit the impact of the virus on social and economic life, and inspire the expansion of our domestic capability and deepen our self-reliance. As of today, Sunday, 5th April, our current situation is such that we have recorded a total of 214 cases. The Greater Accra region 
has 189 cases, followed by the Ashanti region with 12, Northern region 10, Upper West region 1, Eastern region 1, and Upper East region 1. The 10 from the Northern region are the West African nationals who entered our country illegally after the closure of the borders. In total, three persons have fully recovered from the disease, 49 persons have been discharged from health from treatment facilities and are being managed from home. And the remaining 155 are responding to treatment. Two persons are moderately ill and five persons, as I said before, have lost their lives. Of the 1,030 travelers who were mandatorily quarantined and tested, on their arrival in Ghana on the 21st and 22nd of March, 79 were initially found to be positive and appropriate arrangements were made for their isolation and treatment. Subsequently, after 12 further days of quarantine, 26 other persons were found to be positive as a result of their second test, bringing the total number of those found to be positive to 105, all of whom have been isolated for treatment. Of the remaining 925 persons who have undergone two tests and found to be negative, 804 have been released from quarantine to join their families. The remaining 121 are, as I speak, in the process of being released. I want to thank all of them and their families and loved ones for their understanding and cooperation with the stringent procedures the government was forced to deploy in the public interest.